fire a shot, you're going to get caught. The motto of Glendale police officers, with the department utilizing technology called Shot Spotter, which differentiates what's criminal and what's not. It's a system where audio gathering devices are placed strategically throughout the city, and they pick up on or they record gunshots, and then there's uh, people over at the headquarters that uh, sort through those audio recordings, and then they're the ones that determine whether something is a firework, you know, a car backfiring, or actual gunfire. New Year's Eve is certainly a time when that high tech is going to get tested, where fireworks seem to go off everywhere you turn. During a 24 hour window between New Year's Eve and New Year's Day, Glendale police say their shot spotter system alerted to 73 reports of shots fired in the city this year. Almost 3,700 reports of a similar noise, which might sound like gunfire to the human ear, were detected by the technology to not be gunfire. Both of these numbers turned out to be a decrease in activity from the same 24 hour window last year, with the technology determining 107 real reports of gunfire in the city and almost 4,000 noises that were determined to not be gunfire. Getting a notification on my department issued cell phone, I look it up and it shows me the address and the exact location where the shots took place. Other Valley agencies use similar technology, including Phoenix Police Department, which uses comparable Firefly technology to separate fireworks and other similar noises and gunfire. Their department also saw a decrease in reports of gunfire over a 48-hour window between New Year's Eve and New Year's Day. From 374 reports of shots fired last year to 251 reports of shots fired this year. While the departments say they can't attribute the decrease in criminal activity on the holiday to the high tech, it certainly helps officers know when they truly need to respond. One of my cases was in the front yard, someone discharged you know, two to three shots. When I get there, again, before the radio has even put it out, I see the people out there and I see the casings on the ground. So we're able to grab a hold of them after a short little foot chase and, uh, you know, prosecute them appropriately. Marissa Sarbach, Arizona Tonight.